Summertime is a great time to spend outdoors with your kids and enjoy some water recreation, but it can also turn tragic quickly if you're not paying attention. This morning on Ask a Specialist, we'll talk about what you need to know with Dr. Matthew Mitch Lee, Family Medicine at the Queen's Healthcare Center, Hawaii Kai. Good morning, doctor. How are you doing this morning? Good morning, doing well. Thanks for having me. Now, first off, what do parents need to know when monitoring their child around water? So most importantly, drowning can happen quickly and quietly. So being distracted creates an opportunity for a drowning to occur and not even notice that it's happening. So when you're going out, so whether it be the beach or if you're at the pool, you need to really designate someone to be watching. If you're gonna be at the beach, go where the lifeguard stands are because it's an extra set of eyes to keep an eye on the kids. And if you're at the pool, especially if you're there with other people, you really want to have someone that's specifically designated to watch the kids because when you're immersed in conversation, you lose your attention and you could miss it happening. And the most dangerous thing, honestly, is being on your phone. So being at the pool, being at the beach, you see everyone on their phone staring at it and your phone is a great distraction machine and you're not able to really see what's going on around you. And for parents watching, how common is drowning in kids? So for kids ages one to four, it's the number one cause of death. So it's pretty heartbreaking. For kids a little bit older, five to 14, it's the second leading cause of unintentional injury death. Uh, but even just for everyone, um, it's a really big risk in the United States. There's 4,000 fatal unintentional drownings for all Americans uh, through the year and 8,000 non-fatal drownings through the year. And speaking of risks, what are some of the risk factors that could increase the chance of a child drowning? Well, one is not being able to swim. That's why young kids are so at risk because a lot of kids that age haven't taken lessons and haven't learned to swim yet. So starting lessons early for kids is extremely helpful. Um, the other thing, especially with having pools in the background with being in Hawaii, a lot of people have pools, is making sure you have proper fencing. You know, just having a fence around your backyard is often not adequate enough because it still leaves free access to the pool just with exiting the house and going into the backyard. So having a dedicated fence around the pool that allows kids to play in the backyard and not be at risk is really helpful. And the other thing is just wearing a life jacket. So again, for kids or adults who can't swim yet, wearing a life jacket is imperative to prevent a drowning. And especially if you're going out and doing boating activities, uh, because that's a, a really common way that you can get injured or drown is just by getting hurt, not having a life vest on, and then it can happen. And finally, what are some prevention tips to prevent an accident in the water? So it really just comes down to supervising. Supervise, supervise, supervise. Don't get distracted. Pay attention to your kids. Designate someone to watch. And then really, no matter what your age is, learn to swim. Start your kids early. And if you're an adult that can't swim, start lessons and make sure that if you are going to go in the water, that your kid or you has a life jacket on. Now, to learn more about the Queen's Healthcare Centers and to find one closest to you, just visit www.queens.org. Click on locations, then click on the Queen's Healthcare Centers. Thank you very much, Dr. Mitch Lee, for your time and have a great day. Thanks, you too.